My name is Pauline Shitawa Gashande. This is my story how Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa transformed my life in 2009. Uh, I started coming to EFI in 2009. Before I came to EFI, I've been to so many churches. Because my ego, I wanted to get married. By then, I was staying with my parents. I had no job. I had lost almost everything. I had no way to start. Since I was running out of age, and by then I was in my early 40s, I was around 38. When I started panicking, I didn't know where to go and where to start from. I heard of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Then I came to EFI in 2009. God's grace came upon my life in 2010 when he delivered me from a spirit of generational cases of not getting married. God started speaking to me through his word. And it all came through out of those things. I remember most of his preachings, you could mention for those who are not married, especially myself, I was stuck at that point. I didn't know whether I was going to get a person who was going to marry me, whose age was creeping on me. I was like scared by then. And I remember one afternoon when I was delivered, Soon after that, I started getting into serious prayer sessions. And uh, most of the thing that delivered me by then, it was the word. It, it kept on ringing in my ears whenever he was preaching that, who told you you cannot get married at 40? I remember I was asking God for a man who had nothing but the presence of God. And when he came to me, at first, <laughs> I, I could not believe it. Because the way he was looking, it was, he was like in tatters. He was broken also. We once dated when we were kids. I was in form three and he was in form four. When he first approached me, from the way I used to know him when he was a banker, he was actually looking different. I could not believe him. It was the right man who was being sent by God to marry me. I, I, I've been refusing ever since then. It came one message one afternoon when he was preaching that um, God can send you a person that you might not believe. Maybe that the right person is going to marry you. From that time, I started building confidence in myself. He might be the person who's going to marry me. Let me just give him a chance. Then I started building my confidence by talking to him gradually, bit by bit, um, accommodating him. And at the same time, he was not even coming to EFI. And I, one afternoon, I invited him. He came. And Prophet, I remember, he was preaching about the Good Samaritan. Since he was not in a good position of his life as well, the word actually, it was his. And it also transformed him. That's when he also started to come to EFI. Then gradually, bit by bit, our relationship started growing. And we're coming to church, the two of us, we're coming to EFI. We had some spirits which were operating in our lives, the two of us. Myself, I had a spiritual husband, yet also had a spiritual wife. Because we're coming from different backgrounds. And I had to give my, my, myself to Christ wholeheartedly. I had to change most of the things that I was doing in life. I still remember one afternoon, Prophet was preaching that there are some processes that we have to take and some behaviors or some confessions that we have to make before we, we go through all those things. Be it the life you used to live, be it um, the kind of life you were running as a single person, I used to go out partying. I used to engage with married men. But when I decided to, to change my life, to make a turnaround, to listen to his word and to obey and to submit myself, I started by myself. And I had to ask the Holy Spirit to take charge of my life. I'm going to change. I'm asking you to take control of almost everything. 
be it my feelings, be it my well-being. And by then, I could remember even Mary Maid was still coming, asking me out. But since I had made a vow with God to stop all those things, I could see my life changing. That's when my husband came. He came after 26 years of waiting. And by then I was 42. We started preparing for our marriage, but the final destination, it came in 2012, the year of results actually. Um, that was in March. By then I got married when I was 42. When everyone else wasn't looking forward for that. And I understand most of the girls out there, they will be saying, now I'm old. There was no one who would look up to me or who would think of marrying me. Myself, I did get got married at 42. Now I'm Mrs. Gashande. I'm married. I've got my own husband, wholeheartedly. He loves me so much. He loves God. He loves the man of God. He loves his word. And we are so excited. I'm an excited housewife. And I thank God for that. If it was not the God of Prophet in my mind, Makandiwa, through his word, his preachings. He speak to us in mysterious ways, be it in your dream, be it wherever you are, even from the DVDs, you get transformed, you get changed. The love we have got right now. We are like, I remember where we stay right now in Masasa Park, I, our neighbors, they call us twins. Wherever I am, that's where he is. When I'm saying he's not around, that is if when he's at work or when I'm out at work, be it going to church, we are together, going to town, going out for an outing or for a dinner, we are always together. And I thank God for that. And with this anointing, you will never go wrong.